Dads, Lads and Kebabs. Sponsored by Ghostalware. And now, it's Dads, Lads and Kebabs. Welcome to another weekly show of Dads, Lads and Kebabs. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody, one and all. Mickey, how are you, bruv? Hello, I'm okay this week. Better than last week. So good. Positivity in the world has increased the level. So we are good to go. The start of another week is upon us. And welcome, everybody. Hope you're all well. And Niall is here with his new style of Tash again. I like that. Every week it's a different style. <laughs> it just needs cutting. It all needs cutting. Look at it. Ah, there's nothing wrong with a beard. Although the only reason to cut a beard, I think, is if it you wash it and it's still like bits just scrag off somewhere. You have to trim it a little bit. Even with oil and stuff, it's still, you get scraggly ends. You just got to chop them and shape it a little bit. I see. Just... I've got, I've got yeah. balm now, which is like no butter. I've got, and it's really thick. Yeah. And once you start, put it in, start putting clay on your beard, they don't move. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it molds it into a better shape. But oh, mate, it's just it's fucking it's a lot of effort in it. It's beard ag. It's beard ag, yeah. But it is it's beard it's, ag, bro. It, it's it's pay payday on Friday. Well, when you listen to this, this already happened like three days ago. So. I will I will be purchasing some beard things. Beard bits. Beard bits. Beard bits. Yeah. I've got the oil, which I'm nearly out of. I thought I still had some balm and butter and stuff. But I haven't, so I will have to get some um I'll have to get some. I'll have to get some butter. I I went through a stage of getting the the beard struggle stuff, which is very expensive. And a big Viking man and the smells are fucking epic. But yeah, mine's no. mango, mine's mango passion fruit at the moment, and it just it smells lovely. I like the, I like citrus smells because they're quite refreshing. So if you go near anybody or you walk past them, they get a whiff of like citrus. It's quite nice. You think, oh, you smell nice, and they. Oh. <laughs> Man, I get a whiff. Of my, I get a whiff of myself, and I think, God, you smell nice. It's because I wear all different <laughs> scents. Though. So I, I don't get motherfucker. used. To- I don't get used to what I'm wearing long enough, so I'm because I'm always I, I'm a sp- I'm a heavy sprayer as well. Yeah, I, li- I like nice smell. You know that I like nice smells, so I'm always. Yeah. Uh, Do you ever get the nice. uh, number fifty two or the one four sevens from the 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 fragrance people that sell them in the bottles with just the numbers on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've tried them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've got a, a current current person I get them from, and the smells are ninety percent the same so I'm i've happy. literally got I'm, i've got I'm one in front of me actually in fact you know what we should shout these out and see if they come back to us so i've been testing a company called a more sense they're called yeah yeah a more sense and basically they are clones of like really high-end yeah. brands yeah 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 so this one is a because I've actually got the real one that's over there. This is a clone of Creed Silver Mountain Water. And it's the fucking bollocks, man. It smells exactly the same. And I know that because I've got the real ones out there. So it's a more sense. Oh, I think they're fucking brilliant, though. Because I bought a load of samples. And all the samples were basically, I think, I bought loads for £4. And because I was like, I'm going to try them before I buy a big bottle of it. Because I spray yeah. loads, it cost me a fortune. <laughs> um, anyway, turns out it smells exactly the same. And the fact that Christmas is very, very close and everyone is forcing us to buy perfume and fragrances because that's what they promote all the time. Um, so it does get expensive. I remember when you could buy a 100ml bottle for like 40 quid. And Depends now, what you're wearing. Though. You, what you now it's like... Juice? Fucking hundred quid oh, for mate, an average the... average bottle. It's like fucking hell. Do you remember like the, the top three were like back in the day perfumes were the big bottle of dupe, the pink one, which is just that's like fourteen oh, quid now. 
it's too much in a bottle of that stuff it's too I, much i saw an advert for that the other day on instagram and they don't spell it they don't pronounce it dupe they they pronounce it like yup 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 and yop. i'm like what the fuck is yup it's <laughs> dupe mate it's dupe bruv what are you fucking and talking then, about there used to be that there used to be versace blue jeans the one in the can yeah, oh, David, David Beckham. <laughs> Tesco, oh, oh, Tesco I liked, special. I like some of David Beckham's stuff. I remember when I had a few of them. It's weird though, isn't it? That his stuff was like fourteen ninety nine, but yet his wife's now got a fragrance collection out. It's 170 quid a bottle. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Is it called VB? <laughs> it's not really called VD, is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get after you spray it down there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so sprays, love it. I, love the, the, I used it quite. Obviously, this brand was, um, well, this company does the numbers, like we're talking about the fake clone fragrances. They're quite yeah, a big company as well. I can't believe I can't just trying to look for my emails because they used to send me them all the time. And I ordered them online. I think they're like fragrance, something fragrances, something like that. It's very well known, mm. like in Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Yeah. And it smelled awful. I paid like twenty four pound for this bottle. Put it straight in the bin. It's fucking disgusting. It was vile. So I used a different company now. I couldn't tell you. This this woman messages me on Facebook Messenger because I thought I'd try them. And they're they're pretty good. They're, but I can't tell you the name of the company. But there are some good ones out there. And if I pay, I pay nine quite often. I buy them in bulk. So she'll do like buy one get one free for eighteen pound. So you get two mm. bottles for eighteen. I fucking mm. you can spray as much as you want, man. That's for that price, yeah. Exactly. And you otherwise you'd be paying like one hundred and eighty quid on average. And it's like, what is, especially with the cost of living, you know, who's, who's doing that? Who the, the fuck is doing that? You know, oh, well, crazy. It's all, um, it's all system. My tree's out, by the way. <gasps> oh, oh, wow. Niall has his Christmas tree up. Where is it? It's in the kitchen. Okay. Cause some people have them in like the, the hallway as you come in the house and they're not in the living room or the dining room well, kitchen we, Kit- we've, kitchen you got a big kitchen so, yeah we've got a big kitchen diner with an island thing in the middle so Ew. the living room is kind of like a we call it like it's like a snug so it's basically big comfy chairs in there and it's kind of laid out how it is there wasn't really any room for it so we thought the corner of the kitchen turns out it looks bloody brilliant we've done all the stairs like with all the garden I'll send some yeah. pictures. It looks me, me, oh, honestly, I loved it. Best, oh, I love it. I love putting the decks up. Ah, yeah, quite a few people I've seen on my friends list on social media put their trees up. So you know it, it's good, but then again, it is it is the twenty seventh of November, so Christmas Boy. is in a few days' time. Well, December oh. anyway. So that's when. Have you watched any Christmas films yet? Um, no, I said no. Then I watched no, one by I mistake lied, the other I day. Lied. What'd you watch? I lied. I have. My daughter watched Elf, and I watched it with her. Okay, no, I'll let you off. Yeah, I watched one by mistake the other day on Netflix. It was um, I can't remember what it's called now. It's really good. It's not not directly a Christmas film about Christmas. It's just it's just Christmas time sort of thing. But yeah, this writer loses his mum. He goes to her house to empty it all out. She's a hoarder, and this this young lady stares at his house or her house, as it was. And he eventually says, "Like, why are you staring at me? Like, why are you coming to the house?" And apparently, her mum used to be his nanny in the house, and she was born and she was given up, so she never knew her mum. But her mum is still alive. And in the end, it's like a, you know, will they, won't they get together sort of thing. You know, mm. they go away looking for his dad who he doesn't talk to. Really good, actually. Very good. Very good film. No real stars in it, to be fair. Um, no but stars. Yeah, it, it was a good one. Yeah. No star I, of David. I went for a, I went for a cinema trip the other night, my brothers. 
Again, and we nice. we watched um, Thanksgiving. Oh yes, that look with uh, Rick it Hoffman is. from Suits. Yeah, yes, it is the worst. However, <laughs> the, it's the, it's it's how can I put it? It's that bad. It's really good. Okay. Do you know like? I could put it on the scale of... Do you remember the film Krampus? Yeah, I don't like that film. <clears throat> Similar sort of... It's a horror movie with comedy yeah. in it. Yeah. However, this is a horror movie set in Boston. So taking it serious is just... It's a no-go. It was hilarious. Honestly, just watch it. If you get a chance to watch it, it is, it's worth the watch. I would say that the uh, the cinema industry has had some good horror films out since September. You know, mm -hmm. they've had some good ones out and they're carrying on with the Christmas horror. So it's I'm still not I'm impressed. Still not watched it. Exorcist, yeah, I've still not done it. Exorcist, None Two, Insidious Five, Thanksgiving. You know, it's, <sighs> we've had good films out the last couple of months. Mm. So I tell you what, the the worst one was for the uh the Oppenheimer movie. I'll never get that time back. I never. I was supposed to go see that a couple of times, <laughs> but I never got round to it. It's a good thing it, you didn't. It looks good. It's an interesting mm. story. The if you get, a chance, if you get a chance, to, yeah, it's more of a. It's a Boxing Day movie that you can sit and watch, have a nap, wake up, and still be in the loop. <laughs> It's that long. St it's still on. <laughs> Where's the cold meats? <laughs> oh, it's only just started. Oh, yeah, that was two hours ago. <laughs> Honestly, I thought the film was never going to end. Oh. Did you ever watch um, the film 2012? Where the end of the world was coming and that to get certain people were selected to go on these ships. Well, on the ships, yeah. Yeah, after... Oh, fucking hell, I just killed everybody with my volume. Um... After they got on the ships, yeah, I think it went on for another like half an hour, 45 minutes. The film should have ended then. It would have been a brilliant film. I've never watched it since because I thought, fuck, it's just so boring after that. It's like, what are they doing? Why are you, why are you extending it for this long and you just made it awful? I thought it was a good film up until then. but Oh, yeah, especially with the whole the Russian guy and the whole scenario of jumping on. And... I couldn't tell you what it's about. Well the details i just know it's about the world's ending and then certain people are off to another planet so that's all i can remember i've never watched it since some films you think how the fuck was that film even made <laughs> lots of films are like that lots of films i've got a bucket list of those films that i think oh my god why on earth did they even watch yeah, that yeah quite a lot of films you watch and you think well i'm never watching that again but some films you can watch every day um like limitless with Bradley Cooper, I can watch that every Ooh, day. That's a good, good film. That is a good film. Good... Shawshank, probably. I could maybe watch every day, possibly. Maybe every other day. Maybe every other day. Home Alone, yeah. I can watch that every day. I'm so tired. And, oh. Only in December. Only in December now. No, we're... no yeah. Do... No, the, I mean, listen, I wish it could be Christmas every day. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, like right, Bumble. It's a wobble. Let just let the bells ring out for Christmas, all right? Jesus Christ, <laughs> mate. Do you think they're going to play Fairy Tale in New York this year on the radio? Oh, because, yeah. Because they, they because they say faggot, don't they? So they cut it out. They, they wouldn't play him on Radio 1 the other year. But then they can, have mean, they can have Cardi B talking about a wet fanny. That's okay, but you can't have fucking Fairy Tale in New York. A, you know, I Wait, wouldn't want to see Kylie B's wet fanny, to be fair. Probably looks like a lump of <laughs> fucking beef or something that's been Probably beat looks up. like a bad badly wrapped case of deer. <laughs> 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 no. Sorry, everybody, if you're having your dinner. Do apologise. It's not a punch lasagna, is it? So it's all right. Or a mayo e kebab. <laughs> I used to love that saying. A, a badly back, a badly packed kebab. <laughs> <laughs> Or a ham and cheese sandwich. <laughs> You're sick, man. Talk, talking of food, do you know what's cooking downstairs? Slow cooker? Yes. 
what's in this local cadet. We want to know. Sausage Curry. casserole, because that's all I make, really. That's my, it's my You're epic. Not, what about chili? You done chili yet? Not in there. Not re- not in the one that you got me, you know, for my birthday. But yeah, I've started using that now. I thought, fuck it. I have a couple of days of food. I'm fucking starving. It's like eight o'clock at night and I've not eaten yet. So when I finish filming, I will be eating. I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat. So, yeah. speaking of food, have you mm, heard about mm, this mm. This 72-hour water fast? I have. I've seen lots of videos on Instagram, or well, one video lots of times. I'm tempted. What, to reset your immune system? Just to try it. Just to see. Not only that, but see how far I could get without eating. Because your your cells in your body get lazy and they they rely on food and they don't regenerate and they just become shit. So if you have a 72-hour water fast, um, <coughs> they basically, all the shit cells in your body die and they regenerate and regrowth and you... Basically, you should feel better within yourself, mm. and you were like given a, another five years younger. <laughs> I mean, it's in, I couldn't do it to be fair. I think I'd feel sick through hunger, personally. Not sure yeah, I'd be able to manage. I think that's why they're all taking these zero calorie electrolytes. I don't know anything about that. So you can buy you can buy these called they're called zero electrolytes, but basically they're zero calories, zero sugar, zero everything. However, mm. you know they stop that sick feeling because oh, okay. one they've got one they've got a flavour. I mean zero electrolytes they're cheap. You can buy them on Amazon for like three quid, and it's like they look like Barocca tablets. Oh, okay. I'll take multivitamin soluble tablets like that. Yeah. So okay. they look like that. This is like, however, they're, they're just electrolytes. Um, I don't know. I think I'd like to see if I could, one, go 24 hours without eating. I don't think, you, I don't think as human bodies, do we need to eat every day? Technically, no, because you don't die from it. Quite often, I've eaten, not eaten, I've got up in the morning, not eaten until like four or five o'clock at night. Mm. Like today, I didn't eat till one o'clock. At lunchtime from waking up today so i never oh. had it if i'm not at work and i'm at home or not at work anyway i just i don't normally eat in the morning i never have breakfast anymore but i also i also heard saw a video this morning saying you shouldn't eat breakfast within an hour or so of waking up because when you wake up you're normally woken up by an alarm clock so you've still got the melatonin in your body wanting you to go back to sleep. Your, your sleep hormones are still in your body. You've got to wait for them to go. And at that point, you, your digestive enzymes or whatever's in your body, it can't. it's not ready to digest food. It's not prepared to do it. So it's not going to do it properly. So you've got to wait a good two, three hours after you mm. wake up before your body is like tip-top ready to eat anyway. Then that that's most things, though. Should you, you know... People go straight for the coffee in the morning, like I do, straight away. Glass of, I also, I've been watching loads of shit. I've subscribed to this channel on, on Instagram, and they also said that when the body, like overnight, all the toxins and all the waste and all the crap is in your stomach, and obviously it's ready to pee out when you go to toilet for the first time. So they always say, drink a glass of water, and it flushes it out quicker, which I have been doing, actually. So and I I don't I couldn't say I feel better, but in my head I'm doing a good thing because I'm I'm doing what this doctor t- said to do. So, but yeah, but drink a glass is, of water that helps you or flush your organs out. They're ready to go yeah. rather than filling them with coffee or whatever first thing. I so always I've, think about vitamins and stuff, and like like you said, drinking the water in the morning, have your vitamins, don't eat for the first hour. All of this stuff that is prolonging your body is that vitamins and all that sort of stuff, they're only going to make you feel okay. Do you know what I mean? Which is the, older you get, the older you get, they're topping up what you are lacking. Mm. So, yes, like of they say, course. They're top. bringing you back to normal level. Yeah, yeah which is, and I'll go on to that subject in a minute, where basically, the, I think as you get older, certain signs of aging, they're not just about your skin and your hair and fucking, like, I've noticed my posture recently. So my posture, like my neck is 
like late in killing. I don't think it's because I technically sit like that, sit like that, lean tight like that. So I'm you haven't, trying. You haven't to... got the hump thing, have you? Maybe. No, I don't know. <laughs> Slight <Like>, profile. <laughs> yeah, I've got like a lit, like a definite something there. Why? No, that's what it is. You know that neck thing I bought off Timu that time that you put mm. over and you, and you lay on the floor and you stretch your neck out. That yeah, was, I want to get one like, there. They're like three quid. They are. They're supposed to do that over time. Just sit there for try and bend your neck back, like the back cracking ones that you lay on as well to to get rid of all the things that we do wrong with our body when we slouch on a chair, use our phone because all we do is this. So all our kids are gonna grow up with fucking Notre Dame backs. You know, mm. the hunchback. You see some older people, and they really are. They've got the full on bulge, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, especially the fatties. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> no, it's true. <laughs> I'm fat, I'm allowed to say it. You're not fat, mate, you're just big bone. I'm not. You only get big bones from doing gym. <laughs> I've got to go, I've got to go gym first. <laughs> I haven't been gym since I fuck, fucked my neck last week when that fucking thing dropped down. I still, it still hurt. I'm still using Chinese oil. I had two days off. I wish I hadn't now because it's come back and it's sore again. But it I smells fucking been... good. <sighs> what have I been doing? What have I been doing? Oh, I don't I know now. I did a heat throw trip this morning. The M25 down to the M1. Uh, you I discussed that with me, I think, last time we had coffee. I, I did it again today. Oh, mm. I did it again. Is that your brother-in-law, is it? No? Yeah. Did yeah, you nick his is. car again? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotta love that smart yeah. car. Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah. That Lambo. That Lambo. Yeah. Um, yeah, do you know what? Honestly, I fucking hate I just I want to express to anybody, any drivers out there that use the M25... On a scale of one to ten, how much do you hate it? I fucking hate it. I've no, I've never known a road like it. I've never, I've never known a road that is just you're lucky. You, it's normal not to like accidents on that road are literally every hundred meters. I've not touch wood had any issues really. The odd occasion I've I've driven on there. You know, thank you, God, etc. So, I'm lucky. The M4 has been more because you go to Heathrow, you need to go on the M4, don't you? After M25, mm -hmm. and that M4 big is. M no M. Well, I'll go M4. M4 roundabout is like 25 lanes, and I'm always in the yes. wrong lane, even though I read the fucking the signs above me, and I'm still I was in the, in the wrong lane. lane. I was in the wrong lane today. I, made, I took an exit and I made my way down to <laughs> fucking Portugal. <laughs> Where was I going? No, I was literally about a quarter of the way to Oxford before I realised I made a fuck up. <laughs> you can still get home from Oxford. It's fine. I know, I just thought maybe I should have a day out in Oxford. Oxford's nice. Yeah. Nice place. Oh, I do like Oxford. But yeah, N25, man. Oh my God, that road. It's fucking bane of my life. How long were you stuck on it? Was there was there oh, traffic? I build up a traffic. Then. No, because no, no, no. like, I was I was I was coming back. So oh, okay. getting there was busy, but coming back, hour and forty minutes. That's all right. Not too bad. It's, it's only about it's only about eighteen miles on the M25 after you come off the M1. And you just to go Heathrow. Stop. Start. Stop. Start. Yeah. See, I've not I'm had that. Like... I've been very lucky. I'm so tired. So tired today, guys. Honestly. What, what time did you get up? Uh, to go. I take it it was an early morning one. Yeah, four o'clock. Half four. Nice. But why do they make fucking flights at 6am? I mean, what's the point? you got to get up at oh, 2 to get there for 6. So what are you doing? Problem is, I love a morning flight if it's for me. Do you know what I mean? If you get, and especially, <laughs> the thing is with him, it's like, bless him, he's going to work. So, must be, must suck. <laughs> and it's going to work in flight. another country. <laughs> he has to take two flights. 
Uh, wow. Oh, and it's like, oh my god, I'd, I'd be like, oh, that sucks. It's kind of like when you go on the underground. We talked about the underground, didn't we, the other week that went on? No, don't think so. so. I went, on, I went on the tube the other week when I was in, in London, and do you know what? It's disgusting. The ox, like I went on, I went on at rush hour, so five o'clock. Oh wow! And I was like this to the wall, and I had somebody next to me, and I'm talking, licking him. <laughs> licking my the head's cheek. here. My head's here. His head is literally right there. And he's just looking at his phone, but I can feel his breath heating up the back of my neck. <laughs> and I was just like, it's disgusting. I don't know how people think that that whole city life, job in the city is a desirable thing. Like, you've got to commute every day. Nah, fuck that. There's no way I'd, I'd want to live in London. You couldn't pay me to live in London, even if it's free. Because you, can't, because you can't drive, you know, it's it's too crowded, there's so much violence, there's just no thanks. Give me a normal Eastern District estate, bro, and I'm golden. <laughs> <laughs> Said nobody ever. <laughs> <laughs> only, the real G, only the real G's know that. <laughs> free, free, free the man then. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, you have to laugh though. <laughs> big up my big up my boys, Daniel and Craig, locked locked since day. <laughs> <laughs> um, Honestly, the the vocabulary of men, let's say, that are age from the age of fifteen to twenty five that speak like that, they deserve a slap. They do. And oh, uh, yeah, it's, I've got no, horrible. no, no fucking time for them sort of people. Absolutely no time. I just take. I've, I've got some friends of friends that speak like that, and I'm like, "What are you doing? How are you ever going to do anything in life if you talk like that?" You know. Free my guys. <laughs> like I'm not a snob. Definitely not no, a snob. I've got I've got no money. Not at all. Not but, at all. but you have to have some self-respect. No matter where you come from, come on, speak like a normal person. You know, don't it's don't just, like especially bleh. with you know the, it, yeah, it's a proper it's a proper icky moment in it. Yeah, especially in certain places that definitely you shouldn't be speaking like that. And it's like wow. So I'm going to take a step back now. I'm going over here. <laughs> Don't come with me. I don't know you. Fuck off. <laughs> <This is. laughs> I mean, luckily, I don't know too many people that speak like that, but I have. A, I, I know of some people that speak like that, but yeah. I just think, wow, what a small, what a small brain you what have. A small mind. Yeah. What a small mind. I mean, we all t we all talk slang, innit, it, bruv? But you know. There, there are times when you don't, but certain generations, they don't care. There's no line. It's just no. all blended. It's all blended into one. It's and, all, um... you know, it's <laughs> weird. It's, it's very weird. Yeah. But... So tell me, what's happening? Fill me in. Give me something. Give me something. I've been watching I'm a Celebrity. Did you watch it? Me too. I watched it last, did you watch it last night? It started last night or last week when you're listening? <laughs> yeah. What do you reckon so far of the people that are in it? Who's your favourites? Who don't you like? Who do you think is going to win? Oh, 100% Nigel Farage for the win. <laughs> <laughs> I like Nigel Farage because I'm a Brexiteer. I, 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 I voted Brexit and he, he was very much part of that. So if you can hate me if you want, but you can fuck off. And uh, I think their people are going to pick on him the first few days, maybe five days of trials. And he's on that mindset where I'm going to smash it and he will do it. And then they'll be like, oh, I we know. can't. He's got we can't fit. We'll just forget about him now then. Maybe he's okay. The problem is, is they're doing this thing against politicians where 
they're trying to treat him, they've put him in because of Matt Hancock, and they've put him in because, like, Nigel Farage is technically just, in my I think he's just a right winger, you know. It's his opinion. That's the problem. It's, it's, I don't get this whole, you're, you're bad if you're a right winger. Well, I, I think our country needs a few right wingers at the moment. Otherwise, it's like, going to be a wet, man. wet, wet cabbage country soon. Fucking hell, I'm off to but Wales. He, <laughs> he he didn't do a whole. He didn't do a whole Matt Hancock and you know got sticky fingers behind the office door, did he? Got caught on the paper doing it. No, I remember watching him in in the European Parliament sticking it to fucking Germany and Portugal and Spain and France, fucking battling for fucking Britain, and I fucking love that. Anybody that sticks up for our country, no matter what you think of him, is is all right with me because I'm I'm not really a traditionalist, a patriot as they say, but you know if you stick up for our country and you are from our country, that's good. Like Britain, I I, Britain, I will you know, say, you know, in my in yeah my knowledge of politics, I would say that definitely I do lean more towards the Churchill way of living. In terms of politics, yeah, like, yeah, that's for me. I think you know, people. I think Churchill was a fucking brilliant leader, best leader from we've what? ever had, apart from, from Boris. <laughs> oh, Bo, see, I see, that's the thing. I don't mind Bojo, you know that. I no, I know, I know. I used to share cupboards with him and everything. I love it. <laughs> 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 Me and Bojo are friends, all right? I think Boris is there. brilliant. I love Boris. Just no good as a politician anymore because he lied and got caught out and carried on lying. <laughs> I mean, imagine, though. Imagine pointing the man who called on Brexit and got rid of that whole EU thing is now the Foreign Secretary. <laughs> I know. That's just like, wow, you fucked up there, mate. It's like... <laughs> Could you have not found any other guy for the job? No, Matt Hancock. Come back from Nice, mate. Put, <laughs> put the suntan away. Come back. We'll give you something else. What have you got for me? Foreign secretary. <laughs> go, and have the, go and have the meetings that you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> go and speak to Europe and ask them why they want us to stand in queues right, and go through rest of the world passport control rather than EU. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. But, yeah, so what are you... Other people on I'm a Celebrity, your opinion oh, so far? Sammy Thompson, like him. I've known Sam for a long time. I, Me and Sam, I th- good morning. I think, <laughs> I think he'll win. He's my favourite so far. He just seems so happy all the time. And I seen him on Big Brother and Coach Trip and all that. I never watched Chelsea. So but oh, I've known him from the other show. Uh, I was a I Towie did. boy. I was never a Made in Chelsea boy. Oh, Too no, posh for me. I was, I was made in Chelsea boy for sure. Absolutely. No, nonsense. That Towie bollocks. No. Listen, right? His, I Sam, don't know, Sam like. <laughs> yeah, he's good. so he's he's got um, he's got a podcast, he's got isn't all, he? Yeah, but he's got autism and severe ADHD. Has he? I don't know. Yeah, Look Sam for on, the win. There's a program on Channel Four. Yeah, and it's called Sam Thompson, My ADHD, and it basically goes through his diagnosis stage. Okay, and he oh, doesn't wow. know. He, and watch it, watch it, because he doesn't know. He has no idea why he is the way he is, and he goes through vigorous amounts of testing. He's definitely got ADHD. And he's just like nonstop. Rah! Go and watch it. Honestly, you just watch it because you should. You should watch it. Hmm. It's really good. But he goes through the whole stages of I don't know why I'm the way I am. I don't know why I'm so scatty and full of energy, and then down the neck and down the minute, yeah. and then I don't want to see anybody. And honestly, it, it's and it's mind-boggling because he has no idea. He interviews his friends and family, and they're like, "Like, what does he do?" And he has like partials where he just zones out and all sorts of stuff. It's honestly really good, worth a watch, man, for sure. Yeah, all right, watch it. Uh, yeah, but I, I know he was saying on the the opening credits yesterday that he's got a podcast, but he's not known for that. So I wonder what podcast. Maybe he talks about his diagnosis and that. And he, has a pod- sh- he has a podcast sh- with Terry Star Pete Wicks. Oh, I like Pete. Oh, wow, that'd be well good. I have to add it to our list. What's the name of it? Do you know? I don't know. We could put it in the in the hashtags and get some views. 
<laughs> like no, Shag really married do. and annoyed. <laughs> We only do that when we have big. Oh yeah, I'm off to see them soon. I've got um I've again got a couple of weeks. Yeah, nice. Twenty twenty seventh. I'm meeting them down in London. Nice. Twenty seventh. That's today. <laughs> when you're listening, <laughs> you've been. How was it, now? <laughs> Brilliant. Awesome. Yeah, so we'll talk, we'll talk about it next week. <laughs> I'll let you know what they say. See if they want to come on. Perfect. Yeah. This um, this Noel. Apparently she's a YouTuber, most annoying fucking person fuck I've ever. She? she does Who nothing. She? she does nothing on the Who trials. She? All she does is scream. I mean, fuck off. I mean, the fact that she wore a tent to the fucking opening credits. I mean, what are you doing? Green satin tents you wore. Fucking hell. Like she didn't help in the trial, and that would have been well sweaty as well. Imagine Green that. Oh. Yeah, that would have smelled. That would have smelled like one of them buckets that, that woman was dipping <laughs> her hands into. Oh. Josie Gibson, yeah, she did well jumping in that shit, didn't she? Look, like she's been in tar, <laughs> fucking hell. Look but... like she's done that before. She's been hands <laughs> deep before. Well, she is. She is from Bristol, so she probably lives on a farm. You know. So. But then, Britney Spears' sister, come on, seriously, who, who the, the fuck? fuck is who the fuck is that? I mean, and they're like. Oh, she might not stay the whole length. She's not a celebrity. She's the Appar- least celebrity. Apparently, she um, she's a, a singer and an actress. She may be in TV shows in America, but I've never heard of her, apart from being Britney's sister. That's what everyone's saying. Oh, it's Britney Spears' sister. Not, oh, it's Jamie Lynn from whatever shows, at Hollywood Wives or whatever. Do you know what? Know. I'm going to say this. I... I I really dislike people that jump on other people's success. I fucking hate it. I'm going to say this out loud. So I I know you know people, and I know fucking people that fucking do that. Oh yeah, I hate it. Like I hate people that go. My sibling or Co- friends are famous. Coat t- I, coattail, coattail. Hang yes. On. Yeah. Like oh you oh they gave you a, they gave you free headphones. Can you sort me out, Pet? Mm. No. That's no, sharp. fuck off. <laughs> you know, you got free entry in Twilight Towers, did you? <laughs> How'd you do that? I know a guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But apart from that, there's not many. That trial at the beginning where they went over the edge, I was I watched it and my heartbeat was 140. I'm scared of heights or scared of falling. The fact they went down that ladder off the top of that building and on that pole, oh my god, I was sweating watching that. My heart was going boom 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 boom. I was like gripping on and I'm like, oh fuck. I was well, why are you, why are you scared of heights? Because I'm scared of falling. Mm, not the height. Everybody's scared. Everybody's scared of falling. No, they're not. Some people can go on a ladder, no problem. They're not scared that they might fall off. No, Yeah, but nobody wants to fall. No, but I'm scared it might happen, even though probably chances you're not going to happen. That's the phobia. If you you have a harness on you that's attached to a rope, that's attached to... No, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. Why? It doesn't matter. I don't know. (laughs) I was sweating, sitting on my bed, watching it from... 7,000 miles away. You and shouldn't be scared of heights. They don't do anything. Like, no, you, no. you know, you said to me, I'm scared of spiders. They fucking crawl. They bite. They can kill you. A harness is not going to kill not, you. I'm you're not good. scared of spiders. Plus, if you're if you're on ITV and you die live on, live on ITV... Oh, I know that. Yeah, yeah. Your family are set for life. <laughs> <laughs> You've done a good thing. That episode ain't being shown. <laughs> <laughs> Plus me though, just saying, leave some shit for me, man. Do you know what I mean? I want, you, I want you, that. I want, I want that mic stand. You, you can have the twenty-three pound a month payments that we have to pay for this podcast. <laughs> if you want, always got to listen. We talked about what's all about finances on this show, right? Do not start discussing finances. Oh, yeah, I thought the last three costas will have you. Know. You have. I didn't have a nineteen hundred to go. <laughs> listen, don't you worry. Speaking of this, right? <laughs> what are we doing we haven't decided and obviously we need to decide it because we're obviously going to say at some point 
one of our next upcoming shows is <laughs> let's go out and have a Christmas meal because obviously, technically, we should have a staff party. It's only me and you. It's cheap. <laughs> it's cheap. Pay for ourselves as we do. <laughs> Just... Yeah, we could do that. We could have a Christmas meal out. Why don't we, why don't we do food in a movie, man? Yes, we will do that. Not a movie with fucking a 12 inch hot dog in our hands. <laughs> no, no. Pop that, a meal. Let's do. So I, so I went, I went for, um, I went to that restaurant. I told you about it, that guy, uh, Chi. No, we don't talk oh. anymore. Oh, yes, we do. It's so the funny t- how we don't talk anymore. Carry on. So that, the Chi yeah, restaurant in Northampton, the Chi restaurant in Northampton. Where the fuck is Chi? So what, what is Chi? Oh, okay. Chi is- Cheese like Chinese inspired street food type of restaurant where it's really small dishes but really fucking good like really good food like they do like have you heard of bao buns no bao buns bao buns um, no guy gizos guizos no have a look have a look I don't go out See, if not we can just do a normal restaurant like let's do mandarin let's do food. yeah man mandarin or let's do um. I know we'll, that do one of we'll do a restaurant at Rushton Lakes. Let's yeah, just Lego, go do food. Lego Lounge is good. Love Lego Lounge. Yeah. Lego Lounge. Let's go to Bills. Go to Bills, yeah. I like Bills. Yeah, yeah so do I. Or TG, let's go to TGIs. Let's go to TGIs, oh, man. I'm not gonna I, hate, I hate TGIs. I hate TGIs. Rip off everybody hates, everybody hates TGIs. It's the best thing. You know? No, it's not. I ain't giving them money. You can it's pay. It's good band. It's a bad band. <laughs> it's good. Excuse me. Yeah. I'm not giving. I'm not giving my money. Yeah, not today. I would have said my money's demanding in jail. <laughs> <laughs> free, up, free up my Donny Craig. <laughs> <laughs> have you been watching the prison show on Channel Four? No, I have time to watch oh telly. Oh my god, Mickey! I'm going to write you a little TV list of things. That I want. First of all, go away. To, your homework is to go and watch the Sam Thompson ADHD. Oh well, I will do. And I want you to put it, I want you to put a caption on the stream, on the Instagram stream, to prove it. I'll put it on our page. All right. Also, we're doing a 72 hour, 72 hour fast starting tomorrow. No more eating. <laughs> I got kebab and chips for lunch tomorrow, you know about. Mm. Kebab and chips for lunch? Oh, yeah, you're going out, you're going out tomorrow. Yeah. Shopping day, shopping day. I was about to say with the chili. I was about to say with the chili bean, but it's not the chili bean. Not chili it's bean. The, uh, it's, it's that one. Oh, mate, mate, mate. Salam alaikum. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm coming to this podcast feeling a bit, a bit tired, a bit deflated, a bit. Yeah. That's because I've been up I feel feel quite. I'm trying to really sit upright, so it's really bringing the energy back up which is good i i bought one of those uh, posture things straps that go around your body like your shoulders and your armpits they're really good they, they keep you up like this yeah it makes you look really raw but it fucking cuts in your armpit and it makes it hot and sweaty and i hate sweating i don't sweat but when i wear this they are it's quite bad and it's wet because it's constantly touching it's like someone's holding you like that. And obviously, it's going to get hot as you move. Problem is with me, it's my shoulders. Like, I've got the... F- I don't know why. It, it's, it's... I've always trained shoulders. So I have the stupidest, biggest traps in going. They're up there. Show off. They're massive. They're just not a show off because they fucking ache all the time. <laughs> Problem is, do I like, do two... Do you like my titties? <laughs> I can't push mine together. I can because mine are soft. <laughs> I'm older than you. I'm 14 years on you, mate. You wait till you're 44. Let's see what see what you're like. I I wouldn't say we look that far apart in age, though. For me, to be honest with you, I would, no, I, I do look young, or you look old. <laughs> well, exactly. Oh, my neck hurts. It's, see, told you. You just moved it. Boom. So when are you back to the gym? Are you going to have a certain amount of time off and then back? You can give yourself a deadline. To, of I could have gone gym time. today. I could have gone gym the other day. Maybe at the weekend. Maybe Saturday. I went last time on mm-hmm. Saturday, like a week ago. I've seen you pushing the uh, 
Pushing the wheels. The prowler. Prowler. Prowling. Pushing the pram, I call it. That that is awesome that workout. But what I put like a hundred kilo on it now. And after I go up and down once, like I get oh, I get such a head rush and I feel hot and I feel like I'm gonna faint and I'm like, oh my god. I have to That's I have to crouch hard. crouch down, I'm like, oh I feel so bad, like I'm gonna faint. So it, yeah, it's like, the best thing to do is stand I do that, straight. I do it at the end and then leave. <laughs> yeah, the best thing to do is if you ever get a head rush though, stand up straight, let the blood land back where it needs to land. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Would you do yoga? Oh, I've, thought I've, about yoga. I've done yoga a few times because they do yoga at my, my gym and I get free classes. So I've done a couple of classes and it's so gentle and soft until they get to the hips. And it's, oh my God, it's like someone cut a chicken leg and like, you know, when they do the Christmas videos and they plunk it on, they fucking cut it and they snap the fucking legs in a different position. And it's like, <laughs> and I, I, I'm angry when I'm laying on the yoga mat, I am fucking angry because it hurts. And it's like, yoga's not supposed to do that. I am counting down the minutes. I'm looking at the clock thinking, oh, 55 minutes, 50 minutes, 45 minutes. Oh, 30 minutes. <laughs> I forgot to look. My, my, um, <laughs> my biggest worry of doing yoga, I think I should do it because it would help all my posture and my bones. It, it is good my for you. But... My biggest fear of yoga is, and honestly, this is the biggest fear, is, is the fire. <laughs> my, honestly, my gas is terrible down dog I, am... <laughs> I mean i'm sure but the thing is a room full of women i just you know no, they, they are to be fair they the average age is 60s when i go to yoga they're old women old men and some of them can bend some of them are not so good and some of them fall asleep <laughs> yeah i've had them all now some of them fall asleep and they snore at, towards the end and then they wake up. It's like, oh. But yeah, some Check fart. Some fart. Sex. That's quite funny, yeah. We got a bleeder. She's dying. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Checking pulses. But yeah, I you, think should, you, should, you should go now. You should go to yoga. Give I it a go. Are you still at the posh gym? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Do they do, how do they do? Do they do classes there? In that, in that yeah. middle bit, don't they? But well, it's all been the gym's pretty difficult at the moment because so they've all of a sudden they've found out they are part of one of the biggest, you know, multi million billion dollar companies in the world and they found out they've got money to refurb. So they're having a refurb at the moment. So they're 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 doing a bit that basically it started off the gym was closed for like a day while yeah. they revamped all the new treadmill the new treadmills. Oh my yeah. god. These treadmills are the bollocks, mate. Yeah. So these treadmills have got, these are Techno Gym, the latest Techno Gym treadmills. Yeah. You've got this big, I would say, 24-inch monitor, maybe a bit bigger. 24-inch oh, wow. monitor. And on it, you can you can click on it and you can have trails. So you can do walking trails. Yeah, yeah I've seen them. You go through the countryside and that, yeah. And then you, you've got classes that will do basically like a Peloton. An assault, yeah, like an assault course thing. Like, okay, we're going to run uphill now for 150 meters. Then we're going to level out. Then we're going to run up again. That sort of stuff. Oh, wow. And then you, you've got all your apps on there. So you've got Netflix, you've got YouTube, you've got TV, radio, oh, wow. podcasts. That's good. Like, so the other day, I literally caught up. I did, when I did the 5K the other day, I yeah, you did. told me about that. Yeah, I was dying. It's fucking dead. But I did two episodes of Simon Wilson's uh, new show. He's um, Monopoly across the world show. So it was like an hour. I was doing that, but then I got off. And I died. <laughs> Your body caught up and thought, "Nah, fuck this. We're out." <laughs> However, I will say, and I will say, and be positive about it, is the past two workouts that I've done. I got a very, very old feeling back of I feel better knowing I did it. Mm. Yeah, I haven't yeah. had that for a long time. I always feel better if I go, even if I don't work out very well. Like if, you, if you've got keep, anything... Keep showing up. Yeah, keep, just keep going. Keep showing up. 
keep yeah. fucking going because do you know if you if you're feeling a bit shit, even physically, you feel a bit just you're not ill, but you just feel a bit deflated. You've got some pressure, or you just feel stressed or tense. After it, I was like, I feel fucking light. Maybe not. I've still got the gut, but I felt light. <laughs> you know what I mean? See, I, all my got... all the issues that I've had recently. Maybe I should have gone gym because it is a good place for your mental health. To uh, I don't know, making yourself feel tired and lifting pushing weights yourself. and pushing yourself, pushing your body and your body reacting to what you're doing, it does help. It does like clear a few of the cobwebs away out of your brain and a bit of a few like, worries disappear a little bit. You can bitch and moan all you want, but trust me, just bitch and moan on a treadmill. That'll do it for you. Set your set your treadmill to like incline eleven, which is not that you're not that steep, you're, you're sort of like that rather than like that. But it's Stick it to incline 11, not just walking, just walk at number three, you know, yeah. don't hold on, put your hands on your hips and just put your headphones in and walk for 30 minutes solid. Yeah, I used to do that. Honestly, you'll sweat out all that bullshit. You will sweat it out and you'll get off and go, fuck me, I'm glad I did that. I quite like the Oberleague machine, is that what it's called? Where they're like the, the cross training ski machine. That yeah, yeah. You, you, your legs do this. And it fucking leg workout. So I, I I get five five uh, minutes all, and I can't move. The only, the like, only one I haven't fuck. done yet is, and I don't know if I can, but they're all doing the whole skiing thing at the moment. Nice no, punch his <laughs> lights. It's massive, but it's huge. <sighs> nice bit of wicker, rattan as they call it, rattan. It's paper. What the fuck are you talking Oh, is it paper? He's just put oil in your fucking paper mache light. <laughs> There's no holes in it. What are you talking about? It's just the, it's just the material. There's a hole in the bottom. Yeah, that's for the lights. <laughs> you dickhead. You just made that hole. <laughs> you dickwad. <laughs> um, yeah, yes. back to the gym. <laughs> back to the, it's just the skiing. I don't get the skiing thing. Well, where they stand then, they pull the, the, the cords down and they go, ring, ring. Yeah. yeah, it's oh. fucking tiring, that is. I tried that for like two minutes. So I was dead. But I'm unfit, so it don't matter. <laughs> I'm not being funny. I do the skiing thing all the time. I bet you do. Just one ski. <laughs> with, with, with Brian and Tony when they come around. <laughs> Brian. Brian and Tony. Oh, God. <laughs> skiing. But... I was going to say, I was going to say, I had something else to tell you. I can't remember what it fucking was now. This is my well, how, forgetting shit. What else have you done now this week? This week, this it? week, this week. Oh, what have I been doing? I did a Christmas fair on Saturday. Oh, uh, you went to visit stalls that overcharge you and sit in a shed. It was brilliant. However, by right, listening okay. to this, right? So we did a stall but beforehand. I had a big coffee. Now, bearing in mind, we went from doing leaving the house early in the morning, going doing a morning activity that we normally do. Yeah. While that morning activity is gone, I had a large, large cinnamon latte from Starbucks. I know, terrible, but I did. Had it, went straight to this market, walked around this market for a good two hours. Anyway, we had something to eat, carried on walking, and then we stopped because my daughter wanted a face painting. Anyway, I was stood still for too long, and the mm. things started cooking. <laughs> and everything, I, was, I kept hearing stuff going <laughs> all over my body. Little cheeky I was, ones. I was like, "Oh no, oh, my God. <clears throat> oh no, this ain't good." And then I had like a feeling of fear because I felt, I thought, "Oh." This one might be safe. Might be safe. This one I could. <laughs> and then I was like, "No, no, I can feel this pressure behind it. It's not safe." So then I had to stand still. Our cheeks I together, said, legs crossed. <laughs> no, I'm not walking. <laughs> <laughs> so I was still. Anyway, we're in the middle of a churchyard. In the middle of this churchyard, like bearing in mind the whole street where we were, the whole town was a Christmas mm. market, so it was heaving. All right, 
And outside, and I was like, where is the nearest? Where's the nearest bog? I need it. And my missus was like, oh, there's one in the church. And I was like, I am not going in the church. Wow, I'm like, what niche? This is some, this is some, demonic, this is some <laughs> demonic bullshit they do not need. So anyway, oh, dear. I was like, right, where do I go? Where do I go? What do I do? So I'm, I walk out, very, very legs close together, but at a fast pace. Penguin. Like, there's one out there. Like, there's one out there. It's further down the road. I was like, okay. So I walk out, walking down the little lane, past the, and I'm like, I'm not going to, I can't, I can't go. Anyway, <laughs> see a coffee shop just outside the churchyard. And anyway, boss open the door. It's absolutely heaving in there. I'm walking past all these queues. I'm like, oh, I see the sign, it says toilets, down the little corridor, into the loo, see it, doors open, see the door, because it's like, do you know, it's like one of those toilets, do you know, small cafe toilets. It's just tiny. So it's yeah, basically yeah. like through, through one door and then they've got two separate doors for the actual toilet sort of thing. Yeah. Anyway, get in, do do open the door, close it, sit down, and then boom. <laughs> like a napalm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'm sat there and I'm just unleashing this demon for about five minutes and then I look around and I'm like there's no bug roll no so I look around oh. I'm like why are all these bins in the toilet all these like there's a, oh. there's a bin there it's been there like there's a baby changing table it smells really nice in there I was like oh no. he went in the ladies <laughs> It's only one toilet. It's literally just that one toilet because it's just separate. So I was like, oh, my God. But the problem is, it's not the fact that I went in there. I just, the fact that I nuked it. Oh, and I was like, oh, my God. (laughs) Trust the trusty little more sense that I had. I was like, in my pocket at the time. (laughs) Flushed it, washed my hands. And I was like, right. Walked out. Luckily. There's a bloke next door in that one. I think he was doing the same because it stunk when I walked out as well. <laughs> um, there was no eye contact made. Just uh, we shouldn't have had the uh, shouldn't have had it. Shouldn't have had the food from that store sort of situation. <laughs> but the pressure of I don't know the, the relief I got of I was like, oh my god, I feel normal again. There's nothing worse than really needing a shit. I think I think releasing a horrible shit. Is actually better than when you have sex or whatever, and you come. It's definitely level. It's definitely level. And I think if you don't come, then the world don't end. But if you don't shit, the world is going to end. <laughs> oh, Same as if you need a piss and it hurts and you can't move, and oh, it's like, oh, I need a piss. I'm going to die. I'll piss on out the window if I have to. <laughs> so I needed a piss once. <laughs> So I knew, I think I might have told you this ages ago, long, long time ago. So I needed the piss once when I was in a big queue for the tip. Yes. Yeah. And you pissed and something, and you sort of looked up and there's cameras watching you yeah. directly uh, in front of you. And I was in this queue for an hour and I needed, I needed the piss before I even got in the queue. <laughs> and oh my God, I fucking pissed, I pissed in the fucking Lucas A bottle. But looked up as a camera. Bearing in mind, I'm driving at the same time as trying to piss in a bottle. So How difficult. It's so How difficult in the in the driver's seat. I've did it once, and I was stuck on the M1. It's so bad. I, so so much pressure. I peed all over my hands and everything, and my seat. But I just needed to fucking release some of that piss. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I wash my seats. So I don't give a fuck. I just needed to release something. Oh. <laughs> It's, it's it's horrible. It's horrible. Do you know what? I mean, especially as you get older, because your bladder and your fucking bowels become way more sensitive than they need to be. Like now, I have the bladder of a fucking egg cup. Like while we've been on, I've had two bottles of water. That's me pissing now for the next two hours. He's having four or five now. pisses. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. On that note, people, on the pissing and shitting scenario. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on another, another shit show of a dad's <laughs> episode. What a random show. Again, it's been this week. 
No Love topics, it. just oh, just always. straight up, straight up, sh- straight up shit talking. <sighs> From politics to taking a shit. Yeah, they let me finish. People. I'm going to finish on this note. See you next week, guys. Deuces and piss off. <laughs> the Dads, Lads and Kebabs podcast is available to listen and download on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, Podbean and all other podcast platforms.